All right guys, welcome to another video. This is not a fishing video, uh, but this channel is more than just fishing. Today we're actually gonna be putting side steps and a new antenna on the truck. And if you remember, when I first started this channel, I had a Jeep Wrangler. And these were the first two mods that I kind of did to it as well, because I think they're really necessary. More people use my truck than just me. It's not lifted yet. I thought we were gonna level it. I need you guys to kind of let me know in the comments. If I level the truck, do I still have to go through the process of getting the speedometer like calibrated? I don't think I do, but I do want to level it. That's probably the next thing. Uh, but we got these rough country running boards and we got one of those bullet style antennas we're gonna put on the front. It's freezing cold out here today uh, and I'm by myself. So this might take a little bit longer than usual, but I think it's really gonna change the outward appearance of the truck. So let me get some before shots. Uh, let me tear into this box and we'll get started. All right, so step one was to get everything out of the box. We got our two running boards, eight mounting plates here, all these screws and brackets and stuff. And the first step is to get under the truck on the passenger side. I don't even know if this is gonna show up. We're gonna go under the truck and we gotta take out like these little rubber things here and up here to mount this like mounting bracket will fit something something like this but anyway let me get these little washers out and i'll be back okay so these things are like there's one hole here and then there's one right up here and we got to get that little rubber like thing out it's like a plastic screw almost but i'm using my knife right here to kind of like loosen it up and pull it out just a bit so then i can use a screwdriver to kind of pry it out a little bit more just enough to where i can switch to these are actual uh wire <laughs> splitters but um it also works perfectly to reach in here and grab that piece and just kind of work it out i almost got it here let me switch this around right here just like that and there you have it and we're doing that there's four on each side of the truck all right now that we got all the plugs out we're gonna put the mounting brackets on using uh two of these screws each so let me get these on and then we should be able to just put the first running board on all right we've got all four of the mounting brackets on now we got to actually Dustin came to help, by the way. What's up? So, we're going to lay one of the running boards on there, and then we're going to use these little brackets to attach the running board to the mounting brackets, and then we should just tighten it up, and everything should be done with the first side. After we level it, then we're going to tighten everything up. Uh, really not that hard of a process putting running boards on a truck. All right, guys. First one is on. Sorry about the hair. It's crazy. Laying on the pavement. Let's test it out. Make sure it works. Please don't fall. Feels pretty sturdy. There we go. All right, so now we just have to repeat that entire process on the driver's side, and we'll have some sod steps. Now, they're kind of interesting, like you can, there's a lot of play before you like screw everything down, so you can move them forward and back just a little bit. But I think I got them. Yeah, I think I, think I got them right where I need them. But we'll let Amber decide if, if they need to be moved forward or back. You can do that by just like loosening it up. The screws on the bottom all right let's do the other side all right there we go actually i mean dustin and amber helped by handing me stuff but really uh not bad for a one-person job and they work you can get in the truck you can get out of the truck they seem really stable i got these once again from rough country i think they're called like the ba2 running boards or something like that um they're really cool here's the thing though uh they're a little bulky right i think they still look cool but once we do level the truck and put bigger tires i think they're gonna look even better and so one other thing i want to do today is actually change out the antenna just like when i had the jeep the silverado comes with this giant antenna and i'm sure nobody else notices it but it looks ridiculous to me so uh, i got the ronin factory 50 cal bullet antenna it was either the bullet or the little stubby and amber actually likes the bullet better so we're gonna switch this out real quick this should take like five minutes Well, 
Well, that was super easy. They sent two adapters and I'm not sure if I used the right one or not, but that one fit, so I'm gonna leave it. But that looks a lot better than that super tall antenna. And I primarily use satellite radio or my phone, so I'm sure reception will be fine on this guy. I'll test it out later. And we got the Rough Country running boards put on as well. I know this wasn't a fishing video uh, and we got a lot more stuff that we wanna do to the truck in the future. These were just some really simple bolt-on uh, changes that we can make, make the truck look a little bit better. But don't forget, this is a fishing, primarily YouTube channel. So if you're enjoying the fishing content or if you haven't seen that yet, go check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1K as fast as possible. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one.